I know you academics have been waiting for a long time for my next upload. I know that you have been so hyped. And guess what? I know that plenty of you have like driven a car before, but have you ever wondered how it works? Well, you're in luck today because this topic is going to be about the engine. Hello academics. Today we're about to learn something that we use in our daily lives. The four stroke engine. Let's look at the components of our engine's major power source. The crankshaft, piston, and cylinder. When the crankshaft rotates, the piston will move down. This lets a mixture of oxygen and fuel inside. This is called intake. The force of the crankshaft rotation pushes the piston back up only for the mixture to be ignited by the spark plug. The pressure of the ignited oxygen and petrol is what pushes the piston down, but the crankshaft is discoid, so it converts undulation or oscillation to rotational forces. This is the power stroke. The extra unneeded gases will go to waste to the exhaust valve. This is the exhaust stroke. There are valves that control the amount of oxygen and fuel that flows into the cylinder to even things out. And these valves are controlled by the camshaft. And the cam gears rotate the crankshaft with the help of a timing belt. And the tensioner and idler pulleys keep the timing belt in place. And another part that you need is the flywheel. The flywheel's job is to spin very fast, but why would it need to do that? It does it so that it can use the kinetic energy to actually smooth out the flow and delivery of the energy from the engine to the entire car. They usually spin at a few thousand RPM. However, energy-dense carbon fiber flywheels can reach top speeds of up to 60,000 revolutions per minute. Considering the fact that engine flywheels are approximately a foot long, that's fast. There are parts that can be applied to an engine. These are called force induction parts. The supercharger works with a belt system and can improve intake. However, when a turbocharger is applied, the increased power is not instantaneous, but it is stronger. Let me show you how it works. There are two wheels. One is a turbine wheel, and one is called a compressor wheel. Now, the exhaust gas should be wasted, right? Well, exhaust gas doesn't go to waste with a turbocharger. Spinning like this is a great way to suck in air. But the compressor does its job and makes the air dense and compressed. Bam! Instant combustion. The supercharger may be more powerful, but the turbocharger is more efficient. 